We're so excited to show you around campus today. We're starting our tour experience at the ETSU Welcome Center. And from here, we're gonna get started on our campus tour. My name is Savannah Parsons. I'm a senior nursing student here at ETSU, and I'm from McMinnville, Tennessee. And I'm Will Spencer. I'm a freshman student from Nashville, Tennessee. I'm a microbiology major on the pre-med track. So if you're ready, let's get started. Don't get lost. <laughs> Hey everybody, we have made it to the Wayne G. Basler Center for Physical Activity. Come on, check it out. All right, everybody, we're in the CPA currently. We're in the eight mile track, so every eight laps is equal to one mile. If you like your cardio in a different fashion, however, we do have uh, elliptical steppers, treadmills below me. And uh, over to my left, we have machine weights and body weight systems to my left. As behind me, we have three public basketball courts for uh, basketball, volleyball, and dodgeball. We also have a private court for uh, clubs and events to um, rent out. Over to my right, we have our free weights area if you like to um, have your um, weights moving freely and naturally. Um, and we also have a swimming pool down over to my right. Hey everybody, we are still in the Center for Physical Activity, but we have moved into our aquatic center. This is our pool. Um, if aquatic fitness is your thing, you can do that through our open swim times, which are posted on the door of the pool here, or you can attend group fitness classes, all of which are posted on our website of the CPA. You can come in here and do water aerobics specifically, or you can go to our yoga studio and do all sorts of different yoga. You can do spin class here as well as martial arts. If sports are your thing and you want to do intramural sports, you can also come in here and do intramural water polo. Um, other fun activities such as battleship with canoes and kayaks also happen in here. If you want certifications, we also offer that through scuba diving and you can become a scuba diver here. Hey guys, we've made it to the quad. This is a nice open grassy area where lots of things go on. Directly behind us is Brooks Gym, where our ETSU women's basketball and volleyball is played. And then over to the side is Treehouse Takeout, which is a great place you can grab some lunch on your way to class. There's also a whole lot of activities that go on in our quad. One event that comes to my mind is our cultural Native American festival, where we bring a tribe of uh, Cherokee Native American Indians to talk about the quad um, and specifically um, talk about their culture as a tribe. Also, Bucky's barn dance happens here, where you can just come and hang out and learn um, some like square dancing, wine dancing. It's just a great opportunity for students to come and meet other uh, people and uh, learn about other cultures. Hey everybody, we have made it to our Pride Walk, which you can see over our shoulders. This is not the yellow brick road from the Wizard of Oz. This is our own Pride Walk. It's just a little section of campus that we like to incorporate school spirit and school pride. As you can see, the edges of the road are in one of our uh, school colors, which is gold, the other being navy. And down the center, you'll see all sorts of murals just advertising different clubs and organizations that you as a student can get involved in. And then right now going on our pride walk right behind us is our farmer's market. So during the springtime when it's good weather outside, we have the farmer's market going on on Mondays and on Thursdays. So there's lots of food trucks that come set up. They sell awesome food that you can get and they always have lots of activities and things going on where lots of students get together. Hey everybody, we are now in Borchuk Plaza, which is a free speech area on campus. If you have a social justice issue or anything you want to alert the public about, come and do it here. This is that space for you. Um, we've had pastors, environmental groups, political groups come and talk about um, their beliefs and uh, activities going on here. The fountain over our shoulders is a memorial fountain honoring the people on the wall to my left. Um, those are the first five African-American students to integrate the university, um, and that fountain is a memorial to their incredible work. 
Okay, and then right behind us is Charles C. Sherrod Library. Aside from books and computers for you to use, there's also tutoring that's available to students in the Center for Academic Achievement. I, you'll catch me in there a lot of the times tutoring the nursing students. Um, there's also the testing center, which has computers where students can go and take tests and lots of other resources for you to utilize. residence halls we're going to talk about. So right behind me is Governor's Hall, which is one of the most popular residence halls on campus for first year students. So this particular residence hall has a shared living space with a roommate and a private bathroom in the room. Um, on campus we also have lots of different styles of residence halls, anything from traditional community style to suite style to on-campus apartments. If you'd like to learn more about these residence halls, you can go online to the ETSU housing website to find more about the layout and the amenities that they have to offer. Also right behind me, you'll see the red emergency pole. That's one of the safety features we have on campus. If you go and hit the button, if something's going on, public safety will come to your location. We also have implemented a safe voyage feature, which is like a public safety escort if you were to need that. This is going to be where they're going to find it. We have our ETSU bookstore, our retail dining, our dining hall, our student activities and organizations, career services, and advising, just to name a few. Okay, so now we've made it into the ETSU dining hall. This is our all you can eat dining option on campus and it's newly renovated as a part of our $80 million renovation at the Culp Center. If you live on campus, you are required to have a meal plan, but you did get unlimited meal swipes during the semester. So behind me is Bergen Dossett Hall. This is the main administrative building on campus. Inside you will find the Office of Housing, the Office of Undergraduate Admissions, and the Office of Financial Aid, just to name a few. We also have the office of our president, Dr. Brian Noland. He actually holds open office hours during the week where students can come in and talk to him. Okay, so this is an insight into what a classroom at ETSU might look like for you. We have about 14,000 students here at ETSU, but our average class size is 23. So you might start off with some bigger general education classes, but as you get into your major, they're gonna get smaller. We also focus a lot on faculty and student mentoring, and our student to faculty ratio is 16 to one. Well, this does conclude our tour here today at ETSU. We are so glad that you were able to come with us. If you have any additional questions or concerns about anything, feel free to email us. The email is admissions at etsu.edu. And go, go Bucks!